Hi guys and welcome back to my channel this morning. Literally this morning I went to Aldi, checked out all their end of summer bargains. They're dropping new stuff out at the moment, like lots of baby stuff, which they'd already sold out of. I wanted to get some bits for my four month old, but they'd already sold out, so I'm gonna check out online. I'm literally gonna upload this video to iMovie right now, just in case you wanna nip your local Aldi and see what's in store this week. Peace. <laughs> So just a super quick voiceover from me as I walk you through my Audi shop. Okay, first item, I've got to show you this. How cool is this laundry bag? They had lots of different examples of black and white materials. It was $3.99, it's really deep, it's really robust, and it will just take everything in there. Here's some lovely healthy foods that I got for this week. That's why I like Audi. I love it for like the rice and the nuts. I love these sea salt crystals, so let's start telling you how much I spent. Sea salt crystals were £1.39, and the chicken kievs for a pack of two were one pound. 19. The selection of nuts I bought ranged between 59p with the most expensive packet being around £1.29. I always buy a good selection because I love to take them out with me in the car and I really like to cook with them and use them in stir fries and salads. The dried mango is £1.29 a bag and it's the Carabo mango which means it's really sweet and great for packed lunch boxes. Um, these little shaker nut packages are really good for just shaking on your salads for extra fibre. I've just got some cereal bars here for the mornings and we all know this particular cereal in the main high street supermarkets are nearly three quid in Aldi. They're just 95p so I stocked up on them. I got some safari snacks, again just for lunch boxes. They're so, so cheap and I like buying things that come in separate packets so that you can put them in lunchbox. There's six bags here and they were under a pound. These chocolate chip cake bars were also under a pound and I stocked up on rice because I always need rice in the cupboard. The rice was only 45p a packet. I love the cute wonky strawberries that they do in store. This whole packet was just 91p, random price I know. And then the plums came in at really cheap. So I just stocked up on some veggies and fruit whilst I was there too. Treated the husband to some dark chocolate. They had all sorts of different ones in there. This one was £1.39. Um, I got some other veggies, like celery was 50p. The tomatoes on the vine were £1.5. And I got this pesto sauce. It's like a bolognese mix, but like a posh version. I like it because it's a small jar, which means none of it will go to waste when we use it with our bolognese. And it was only 89p. Battens were only 65p. I got these for my little girl's lunchbox. I also got them for when I start winning the baby. I'm winning her at the moment and I could just boil a mushroom carrots. This week they have a range of vegan foods in store and I found these vegan cookies for my friend. They're a treat for her. They were 99p a packet. Whites were 59p and the mattress protector was 7 99 It's lovely and thick. Stocked up on some cleaning supplies, so these sponge cloths were 99p. I also thought I'd better get something for the dog. So I found three balls, ball. which were only 199. Good girl. By the way, these are Raider sponge pads are only £1.69 for a pack of six, and I've had them before and totally rate them. I got these little bath salts for Olivia. It's a really nice pack and it's 99p. They had all different flavours in there. This is pomegranate and vanilla and I just thought it would be a nice dreamy little treat before she goes to bed. Found these little goodies for the camping box. It's a one egg frying pan. They're £2.49 each but they're quite big. Um, they're probably big enough to make a mini omelette in them so I thought I'd get them just to stock up for our camping trip next year. All summer, I've been trying to get my hands on one of these plug-in heaters. It says on the box they're twelve ninety nine, but they're actually reduced in store at the moment to six ninety nine. They have loads of camping stuff left over, guys. If that's your thing, go in. And again, this summer, I went to several Aldi stores looking for this wetsuit. I even rang my mum-in-law um, in West Sussex and tried to send her to her Aldi to get a wetsuit for my eight, seven-year-old. Um, I'm sure these are £12.99, but I've just looked on receipt. They're actually reduced now to £9.99. There was only a few left in stores. So I had to have a rummage. They're amazing, these wetsuits. Such a good idea just to keep in the back of the car for when you visit the beach in half term when it's a little bit cold past the summer months. 
really excited about this bin buddy stuff. I've used it straight away in my bins outside. I can't stand the smell of a horrible bin. And you just literally open it, shake it, and it smells fresh straight away. It costs $2.99 and they had two different flavours. I think the other one was a cherry flavour, but I thought I'd go for this kind of um, lime clean scent flavour. It actually smells like, do you remember the carpet cleaner that you used to throw down and then hoover it up? It smells like that. <laughs> And I picked up one of these duvets. Um, it's 10.5 TOG. It's really warm. I've had it out already. It's lovely and fluffy. It was $7.99. Uh, that's just for a single one. But actually, it's a really big single. Mm -hmm. 